Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is April the 27, 2022. We are going to talk about Shiba Inu today and give you all a, a price prediction update, a price update as to what I'm seeing on the price chart regarding where Shiba Inu is trying to go. So welcome to my channel. This is what I do. You guys can see it's right now in front of you. I do price predictions, try to gauge what the market is trying to think, where they're trying to take the price so that you and I can both be in position and capitalize from the move. So if today is your first time ever seeing my content that i create and you all appreciate how someone is actually out here plotting price predictions on the price chart without the confusion to come on board go ahead and join me hit the like button should have been also subscribe here to the channel all right now check this out i did an update video in shiba inu on april the 8th so you guys can tell i've had this price prediction all the way back since march the 17th and here it is april the 27th and the market in shiba inu is being very reluctant into falling hmm makes you come through and wonder what's really going on well just because the market in shiba inu is being very reluctant into dropping it lets you know that the majority of the market participants are buyers it's just that simple and i'll come through and show you what exactly is going on even when it goes against my original intentions my original idea i will give it to you so look at that you guys can see right now that the market in shiba inu is still trading sideways can that continue? Because if it continues, then it will be safe to presume that the market will continue to go up. But I wanted to draw your attention to the overall trend, right? This trend in Shiba Inu started all the way back here since like the beginning of the year, ending of January of this year. Now the market price in Shiba Inu is kind of breaking it to the downside, albeit it's not severe. It's not dramatic. But we are trading below the trend, something that we need to address on today's video, because if the market in Shima Inu is going to continue to trend lower, then we're still actually on course to see my price prediction come to pass. Now, another thing, I want you all to look at this. The market got rejected twice at my rejection level right there, right there around what, 3100 thousands of a penny? Right here, it got rejected twice. The first time was on March the 28th, and then it got rejected again on April the 12th of 2022. 3,000 hundreds, 300 thousands of a penny right there. So that tells me already that this area is a very firm area to where the sellers are in control. As long as sellers are in control right here at this 300 thousands of a penny level then we understand that the market is still harnessing some weaknesses there's still some selling some weakness mixed end in, in all right so now look at this let's look at shiba inu on a two-day time frame because generally the trend into shiba inu has been one of downward pressure we haven't seen the market give us any intentions of it wanting to go up we're not seeing the intentions the overall market is not here buying up Shiba Inu. If anything, majority of the market transactions are people trying to sell and get off this cryptocurrency. Especially seeing how we broke the trend here on this two day time frame below the trend. So we're still trending to see the market in Shiba Inu fall. Now it may not be severe. The market may not come to what, 1700,000 of a penny. It may not come that low. But it's still weak. Okay. Let's look at Shiba Inu on three day then. So one thing that I could actually come through and place is to come through and actually show you all how the market in Shiba Inu. Like the best outcome for us would be for the cryptocurrency to continue to trade sideways. That would be the best thing for us to see. Okay. So I'm going to create where the market in Shiba Inu actually needs to come down. Okay, so this is the trading range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this trend because I am suspecting that the market price is going to continue to trend lower below that trend. And I don't think it's going to be applicable uh, very much sooner because the price is already trading below it. So we're going to follow the price action in Shiba Inu like this. As long as the price in Shiba Inu bounces in between these two lines, then we can kind of predict that the market is not that weak and the movement to higher pressure, I mean, the movement to higher prices is still on the table. All right. So let's anticipate the market in Shiba Inu coming all the way down to this 200 thousandths of a penny level right here. 
200 thousandths of a penny. I'm looking for the price in Shima Inu to come down to that particular level, try to find the buyers, and then from there, lift price higher to where we can get on board and ride the market to higher prices. But first, that would give us what? Almost 10%? Right there, 10%. Outside of that 200 thousandths of a penny, like I said, 1700 thousandths of a penny, we can see the market in Shima Inu try to come down and touch. That would be in the next level, okay? So check this out on the weekly time frame. So from a weekly perspective, the market hasn't been particularly strong. We're not seeing a lot of strength coming to the market of Shiba Inu. By us getting that rejection around 300 thousands of a penny and us still seeing how prices are closing off of the highs, it tells us that the market is still generally weak. That's on the weekly time frame. Check this out on a two weeks. This is no better. The last two completed price bars, the price in Shiba Inu could not even break above 300 thousandths of a penny. It couldn't even do it. So yeah, we're still weak into the market in Shiba Inu. Look at this on the three weeks. I'm showing you information, evidence, that shows you how weak this market price in Shiba Inu really is. The market here from a three weekly price chart is showing how the market is making lower highs. You guys can see it right there. And the next problem I want to show you all that the buyers cannot allow it to happen is this. We cannot see price in Shiba Inu break this trend right here. We cannot see the market break. Like I said, 200 thousands of a penny. That's going to be the crossroads between the decision if the market's going to bounce from there and go up or we're going to continue to see price fall right there. I'm giving you all the heads up right now today to be prepared to see that come to pass. Now, five weeks. Monthly time frame. Three more days and 13 hours left in this market overall generally still looks kind of weak. So what I'm going to do on this particular video is I'm not going to change my price prediction. The market here in Shiba Inu is still showing us some weakness. Okay. It is still here. The market here in Shiba Inu hasn't changed its overall momentum of seeing the selling. It hasn't changed yet. So the prospect of us seeing the price go down in Shiba Inu is still there. Now, like I said, I'm focusing on 200 thousands of a penny. That's where I'm at. Because I really want to see the buyers come into the market and see me Inu there. Because if they do, then we know that's where we need to get off and get on the next ship and ride the market to higher prices. Okay. So let me get rid of this first. And let's follow the price action into the market and see me Inu going forward. I'm going to extend out this price prediction in Shima Inu what, towards the ending of May. So we can allow the market opportunity to come through and trade. Okay, and we'll see which one wins. Is it going to be the sellers or the buyers? That simple. Now it's your turn. I got the comment section open. Go ahead and drop me a quick comment about where do you think Shiba Inu is going to go as we approach the month of May going into June. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.